Hello and welcome to the League of Legends sneak peek for June 24th, whether it's afternoon, morning, night. Um, I see, I know my board is a complete mess. It is full, it is chaotic, but we're going to get through it. Predict down below who you think is going to win the series and games that are expected to take place tomorrow in the LCK LPL LEC. Um, I didn't realize that I ran out of room until I was about to get to the LEC and I'm like there's no way I can fit five teams here so I had to manipulate the LPL that's why the LPL is so much smaller than the LCK and why the LCK is bigger than everything else um, if you missed my power rankings they came out um, earlier today for me um, so I went over the top 25 teams in my opinion right now um, yeah look at that if you like that sort of content so LCK that's what I'm because these some of these teams are in the power ranking. So when I reference it, you'll know what I mean. Um, LCK, Hanwha Life versus DRX. So I have 13th in my power rankings. Um, HLE lost to Gen G 2 0 in their last uh, series. DRX beat Fred at Breon 2 0. Um, the last time these two teams played was week five, day four of spring. HLE coming out on top 2 0. Vista would go 6 0 and 22 on Karma in those two games. So. The way I look at it, HLE, um, their best players are Samdi and Karas. And um, right now, DRX's best players are in bot and deft and barrel. So as far as I'm concerned, this series is going to be determined in bot. Um, as far as Dudu and Kingen are concerned in top lane, kind of a wash. Um, Pioshik is better than um, Onfleek, in my opinion. But will Pioshik get a pick that he can do things with? Remains to be seen. Um, so that's kind of how I feel about that one. Uh, Gen G and Fred Abrion. Gen G continue to be fourth place in my power rankings, 3 0. They last played Dom Juan Kia going 2 1 with Singed being the pick for Lahens twice. Um, Fred Abrion, 0 oh, 2, last played KT, losing that series 2 to 1. Um, last time they played was week 2, day 2, where Gen G would win 2 0. Chovy going 8 1 and 19 in those two games. I believe a Galio and a Rise. Um, Fred and Brian like playing a late team fighting game where they go to late game, they hope they outscale you, you fall asleep, and they beat you in a 5v5 for Elder, the first Elder, the second Elder, the third Elder, first Baron, second Baron, third Baron, that's the way Fred and Brian plays. Um, Gen G likes playing a slow game as well, a very proficient slow game. I believe Gen G would really, really throw Fred Brianna curveball if they came out in the early game and just smashed them because that I think is uh, an option um, for Gen G against Fred Brian. Um, there is a world definitely where Fred Brian can beat Gen G, but I don't think um, I see it right now. LPL OMG versus LGD. Very weird that LGD are playing on back to back days. Um, very weird indeed. So. OMG 0 and 3, LGD 1 and 2. OMG lost to JDG 2 to 1 in their last matchup um, of the spring uh, summer split. And LGD beat Anyone's Legend today 2 0. Um, in their last matchup, week 3, day 1, LGD won 2 to 1. Shadow went 11, 12, and 20 in that series. 10 of those 11 kills coming in game 3. So Shadow versus Aki is definitely the matchup I want to look at. Not only because Shadow was the difference maker in the first series in spring, but also because Shadow was the MVP of today's games against anyone's legend. So we'll see if Shadow can keep that going. Aki is one of the more chaotic players for OMG. He picks a lot of weird stuff. He picked Talon in their last series in J against JDG in game three and lost big time. Um, but Aki, I feel like if he's on, OMG are better off. We'll see if they go with 09, 09, or Cream in mid. Um, if they go with 09, 09, he is probably more used to Hai Chow in mid for LGD. And we'll see if Hai Chow ends up continuing to play. Um, Ultra Prime and JDG. Ultra Prime, I have 11th in my power rankings. JDG, I have 2nd. Um, Ultra Prime are 2 and 1. They last played against Rare Adam, winning 2 to 1. JDG last played OMG, like I said, going 2 and 1. They're 4 and 0 right now. Um, last time they played was week seven, day two, where JDG came out on top 2 0, 3 6 9, going 16 4 and 10 against Allies in top. So that's a big deal. Allies is not there anymore. Allies isn't there. Allies, not Allies. Allies. They have Zoom up there now. Very different team. A much better team. I'm watching Zoom versus 3 6 9, because 3 6 9, like I just said, 
was a key contributor to why they won their last series. I do believe JDG definitely has the edge. There's a reason why one's second and one's 11th. But Ultra Primer, no slouch. Hacker's playing better. Crying is solid in mid. And Elk, I believe, is a very good AD carry. So Elk versus Hope is another matchup in bot lane that'll be interesting. I think Crying versus Yagao should be a good matchup. Um, there's definitely a gap, though. I do believe Kanavi is a lot better than Hacker. Hacker has been good, but not that good. Um, LEC, this one we're going to do last because it is the last one and probably the best game of the day. Um, SK versus Astralis. Astralis, I have 22nd right now in my power rankings. They did look good this past weekend. Do I really like them and think they'll stay there? No. Um, SK, uh, uh, SK are 1 and 2. Astralis is 2 and 1. Um, SK last played Fnatic on Sunday and lost. Astralis beat Misfits. The last time these two teams played was week 7, day 2. Astralis would win. Kabe going 2-0-3. Oh, that Astralis team is not the same Astralis team that they're playing against to, to, uh, tomorrow. Um, only Kabe and um, Dajor are still with Astralis. So this is a new team. Um, I think it's going to be Surtis versus Dajor in mid. Those two young mid laners against each other. Um, I think the bot lanes are pretty close. Kabe and Treats both being, I believe, former... Uh, maybe they were... Eh, I want to say they were teammates, but I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Were they teammates with TSM or was Treats already there? Was Treats after Kabe left? Um, nevertheless, um, yeah. So it's Surtis versus Dajor in mid for that one. Um, Vitality versus Excel. Vitality 16th, Excel 21st, both 2 and 1. Um, Vitality beat BDS on Sunday, Excel lost to G2. Playoffs was the last time they played where Vitality would come out on top 3 to 2. Um, Karzi went 20, 10, and 23 in that series. Um, Perks also played very well. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's Perks versus Patrick, which is kind of a weird thing to say, right? Because those guys are not against each other in lane or play the same role. But Perks is definitely the carry for Vitality right now. Um, everything goes through Perks, where Patrick is, um, the guy for Excel. He's been very, very good so far this split. Definitely overperforming, in my opinion. Um, next, we have Rogue versus Misfits. The two teams <coughs> two teams that made the playoffs last split actually played against each other, which we'll get to, um, but are faltering. Rogue were able to win on a coin flip Elder at the end against Mad Lions on Sunday. Um, so maybe that turns the tides and gives them some confidence going into this week. Misfits lost to Astralis. Like I said, the last time they played was in the playoffs. Rogue winning 3-1. to one. Comp going 16-3 and 24 in that series. As far as I'm concerned, it's Larson versus Vethio. Until Misfits allow Vethio to get a carry, they're going to keep losing. It's as simple as that. Um, and Larson, I think this meta fits him very well, which makes it even harder for Vethio. BDS versus G2. BDS 0-3. G2 3-0. Uh, BDS, like I said, lost to Vitality. G2 beat XL on Sunday. Last time they played was week 7, day 2, where G2 would win. Caps going 7-0-2 oh, on a Silas, I believe. Um, so, in my opinion, it's Syncroft versus Yankos. Um, Syncroft gets BDS the lead, and it's a matter of BDS closing it out. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be shocked if BDS get out to a lead against G2. And I wouldn't be shocked if they lose. Uh, BDS's worst enemy is the 15-20 to 20 minute mark. Um... Excuse me. And Yankos, because it's jungle versus jungle, he's going to facilitate, make things happen. I do want to also see the Erdate, Erdot or Erdate versus Targamas matchup. I That is an interesting one. I believe that the BDS bot lane is better now that they've brought that support on. I still believe that Crowny should be alongside him and not X Maddie, but that's beside the point. This past week, they had multiple 2v2 kills in the early laning phase. I wonder how they do against a better bot lane in G2. Mad Lions versus Fnatic finish this out, both 2-1. and one. Mad Lions 8th in my power rankings, Fnatic 18th. Uh, Mad, like I said, lost to Rogue. Uh, Fnatic beat SK. Last time they played was week 7, day 2. Hilly went 7-2-4 and four on a pike. Matchup, Niski versus Humanoid. Niski against his former team that let him go after they went to Worlds, replacing him with the Mad mid laner in Humanoid. Match made in heaven, right? That's the one we're looking forward to. There's a reason why that one's the last one of the day. 
Um, probably the matchup of the week, at least in my opinion. Um, in the LEC, that is. But that's it for um, Sneak Peek for today. Like I said, predict down below. Um, you get a point for predicting the right team. And as far as LCK and LPL are concerned, if you pick 2021 correctly, you get a bonus point for that pick. Um, with the LEC and the LCS. If you get all five right, you get three bonus points. So thank you for watching. Predict down below like I, you know, if you want to. Um, you'll notice the top comment is the standings that I'm keeping track of. But subscribe to the channel, like the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back for more content.